I want to introduce the software package I made here and for making data captures in multiple dimensions. As you can see here, we have a motorized microscope. To begin with, it's very easy to, uh, to initialize the, pro the program. Since it is a motorized microscope, we call it a motorized microscope. Just type in mm equal to, equals to motorized microscope and the program will initialize automatically. Now, let me show you a few useful functions. Here is the camera view of what we are seeing. Now, the substrate is, has a, le a left-hand helicoidal structure and it reflects left-hand circular polarized light strongly. And here we have a filter box. Now, I will show you how to move it to the right-hand circular polarization channel, and you will see the, the color on the screen fades out. Now, to go back, I type in move to LCP, and you can see the color comes back. A very common method you will be used is scan XY. As the name suggests, it will let the stage scan in XY direction and taking measurements for each point scanned. To do that, I type in move, I type in mm.scan XY, and then I type in the range and separation for points. For example, I want to scan from 0 to 1000 with 100 micron in between each point. Now you can see the stage is scanning. Another very useful function is called ScanXY Interactive. As the name suggests, it allows you to scan interactively. That means you will be given a chance to define your region of interest and scan inside this region. For example, I want to scan a square around here. What I will do is I will move to the first corner, press enter, and move, the set, move to the second corner, press enter again, and type in the separations I want, I'd like to have. For example, 40. As you can see now, the stage while move to each point to be scanned. Let's stop for now. Another very useful function is called Scanline Interactive. What it does is, is it allows you to scan along a line. For example, if you have some interested feature, you can use this function to get the spectrum easily. To do that, type in Scanline Interactive, move to the starting point, press Enter, and move to the second to the finish point. Now the movement of the stage will allow you to scan from the starting point to the finish point. These are just a few common used feature. There are other features available in the software and of course you are encouraged to write your own code and extend the functionality of the program. Thank you for listening and uh, stay tuned on our website.